Hey guys, it's Marisa. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a huge craft haul, so let's get started. Hey guys, so down here is the Queen of Craft haul, and up there is the In Love Arts haul. And this is also a project share. So I'm really excited to share everything with you. So let's get going. Okay, so first up is In Love Arts. This is the first time I've ordered from In Love Arts and Queen of Craft. So these are some doily papers that I'm just gonna add and layer to some of my uh, paper crafting projects. So these I thought were really, really pretty. I just wanted to try something different. I love 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 papers and here is a little six by six uh, paper pad it's single-sided one-sided just some uh, like more background paper there are no cutouts or cut aparts or anything like that no words just some background paper but I thought it was pretty this little lavender colored paper little blues and lavenders so I thought it was really cute just to try something new like I said, I never ordered from them before. So next up are these, uh, they're like background bubble dyes. So I thought it's supposed to be like bubbly looking. <laughs> but anyway, I thought they were really cute. I believe it's a set. I don't think I got them individual. I think they're a set. So I did use this already. I think I put this in my Crestfire video. But yeah, so I used that just as a little texture, a pretty little background. Um, something a little different and I love like that peekaboo kind of look to you can see for the inside of the card so I thought that was very cute so up next is this cute little um, ice cream cone die which I have not tried yet that's the only thing I've not used yet but I cannot wait to try that out all right so up next Yes, I really love this. This is adorable. It's like this mini gift bag, kind of. It's a bag, but I'll show you in a minute. But it's very cool. It's a pretty long die. And you can, like, you when you put it through your die uh, machine, die cut machine, you fold it together. And it fits perfectly. So here are a couple of examples of what I made. These are planar. But it's adorable because it's like a little mini house. That's what I love about it. But the only issue is, I just love it. It's very, very cute. But it doesn't have a bottom, which is found weird if it's like a mini gift bag. But you'll see what I did in a minute. A couple ideas I came up with. So here are two other ones I made with different papers. I just love this. I think that they're adorable. You can put little gifts in there, candies or whatever. And I just love like it's a little mini house. So what I did do was put some um, little tissue paper in the bottom to kind of make a false bottom to it, if you want to say. So that's one idea I had with these guys. The last one I made, I was kind of sick of, sick of not having a bottom. So guess what? I made my own bottom with this very beautiful glitter paper. I just love this one. I use a lot of Prima stuff, a lot of really nice stickers. And I just made my own bottom myself. I was like, okay, now it's a little mini gift bag. So that is, you can, that's what you can do to change that up a little bit. I just really love the way this one came out. I just went in, put little stickers on the sides. I really made it look like a house with a little um, sticker that says, I think, welcome or thank you on it. So, I have been dying for these. These are treat bag dies. I have been dying to get some of these and I have never tried them before. So, I really, really love these. These are adorable. And let's see. The, so, here are some of the little handles I made so far. You kind of staple them or attach them to little treat bags. You have a, a bigger size and a smaller size. I thought this was really, really pretty, delicate, just very feminine. I just really love them, the couple different papers I used. And so here's like a treat bag that Gina from Gina Loves to Craft sent me actually with my beads. So here is what it looks like if you have it on a treat bag. And then this one's a little too small. I would need a smaller treat bag so it looks a little weird, but that's if you wanted to use that one, you could as well. 
so yeah that is adorable I'm really really happy with them so this is what I I did a little something different I used a treat bag the a little top there and I put it on a card instead to make it look kind of like a little purse I thought it was a really cute idea I'm sure other people have done it before but I just kind of thought of it I said well this is a very cute way of using uh, these little attachments these little embellishments on a card and here is one I put it in a big treat bag there's a card I had made just as an example of how you can use these dies that's a pretty huge treat bag and I just used to cover it and up a beautiful card that I made so up next is the Queen of Craft alrighty so here is the Queen of Craft haul so this is again a little six by six uh, paper pad I believe it's single sided as well but I actually like these papers better I just think they're so cute um, they're like little bunnies, a little for spring, I guess Easter. I just like the paper and the colors a little more, I guess because it has like printed on them. Just a little spring vibe here with these little cute papers. I thought they were really cute. And just something different. I think they're adorable. Very, very pretty. So, yes, this is an acrylic block. I do not have one of these my first ones for stamping so I'm really excited about that it is easier to do stamping with a block I think I'm also going to get some smaller blocks as well because I have small um, stamps this is a embossing folder very very cute seashells and the stars and all that a little sea vibe and this is what it looks like I think I went a little too hard on it in my uh, machine but this is what it looks like when you emboss a piece of paper. I thought that was really, really beautiful. I really love that one. Kind of stood out to me. And this is a little pad. It's like a little notepad, but I just love the papers. And I could just add them to projects. It has this kind of vintage, antique feel to it. This kind of... I just love it. It's really like... I like the brown, like, craft paper kind of feel to it and the greenery I just thought it was really pretty because I've been buying a lot of vintage kind of antique papers lately and stickers and stuff so I thought that would go really really well with everything I already bought and I'm really really liking this little notepad and I think these are called flatbacks these are really beautiful um, pearls like you know imitation pearls embellishments a nice big bag of them I thought they were absolutely beautiful again they stood out to me in their store and I also love the packaging because you can just zip it up and it's really easy to store and here is some twine it's like decorative twine and this is very unique as well. I loved it because it has these leaves on it, all different types and shapes and sizes. And what kind of attracted me to it was the one with the leaves on it. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to be using it for, but I just, I know I'll find a use for it, but I just really, really love it. And again, I like the packaging because you could just slip it in and protect, um, you know, your stuff the twine and you can just zip it up so I really like their packaging it's really nice it's not bulky or anything like that either so ah yes the die I love this die and I've seen other people have similar dies and make projects with um, like dies like this and I love this you just you run it through the machine and it's like a fold You'll see in the one minute, it's like this beautiful heart die. And this is what, oh, I forgot about this. Here are some um, enamel hearts stickers. Those are really adorable as well. So I'm gonna show you what I made with them. So here is like more like a slim card and you open it up like that. Oh, I just love it. I think it's beautiful. And here's a little pearl in there. I already used it. 
I just love this. I think this is such a cute idea. And I love this die. Here's the inside of the card with some washi tape and stickers and stuff. I, le I left some areas blank so you can, you know, write a little message. <clears throat> Sorry. So I love this. I love this idea. I've seen other people use, you know, similar and do similar projects. I just fell in love with it and I wanted to get my own. So I was thinking actually of using the twine to kind of wrap around that card. So here's another card I made using the same die. A little butterfly in the front there with a little bit of that fabric tape I have. And this kind of antique -y feel. Oh, I just love this with the stickers. I use some other square dies, the nesting dies. I think it just goes beautifully. I love this die. It has this kind of lacy feel to it. And here is another card I made that is going to a very special person who has a birthday coming up. I think she may know who she is. But anyway, this is gorgeous. I love this die. And here's the inside. So beautiful. That's actually a resin piece that I made with the Prima mold. So I just love that with a glittery paper. I am in love with this die. That's all I could say. So, yes, the stencil. Ugh, I love the stencil. It's a rose stencil. And I used it on the painting I just made in one of my YouTube shorts. I just felt like this painting needed a little something extra. And I just used this die. I'm going to link the video right there. I love this. I used some, I believe, Hobby Lobby paint. It's in the pearl paint. Look how gorgeous this stencil just worked beautifully with on this painting. It's gorgeous. It just it just made this painting everything. Um, yeah, because the painting to me was a little bit boring once it dried, and I just thought it needed something extra, and it is really extra. It just came out gorgeous, so I just love it. So actually, I have a code with um, Queen of Craft. And it's gonna be in the link below as well. And I am actually an affiliate of theirs. So the link is an affiliate with Queen of, Queen of Craft. So I'm gonna link their website and my code in the description below. All right guys, so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.